without the intricacies of party leadership. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Okay, those who are following, try to keep it uh, brief so that uh, this is just a communication. Mutula Kilonzo Jr. <coughs> Thank you, Speaker. Uh, of, of course, we can't get into the details of what happened on the other side because we don't participate. Only that, um, of course, we congratulate Kimani Wamatangi, Senator Kiambu, for his new position. I, I'm happy because now he's going to be in the House more often. He's going to suffer <laughs> the woes of mobilizing members to vote for bills, like we did for his when he used to run away. So now you, you feel the pain of uh, sitting here to get 24. For Kangata, um, he became a doctor while he was a whip. He became a CBS while he's a whip. He has left, I, I don't know, maybe I should advise uh, Kimani Wamatangi to carry the name tag on his door, <laughs> in his pocket, as opposed to the door. <laughs> but, <laughs> but the things that both Senator Cheruyot and Senator Chumba Murkomen have raised, we raised them here. Uh, when the, the Amendment to the Political Parties Act was done by Senator Kiraitu uh, Murungi, then seated where the majority leader is seated. I thought from Legal Affairs Committee that I, there was a problem with the way the merger was done. And I, of course I was opposed. One of the people who opposed was Senator, uh, who told me to drop that uh, amendment because I had proposed an amendment, was Senator of Mombasa at the time. He told me, why don't you allow Jubilee to merge because this is the only way that you will break Jubilee. Now, <laughs> at that time it was made sarcastically. Right now, one of the governors is suffering out of the Security Laws Amendment Bill, which we opposed, in terms of just detention unnecessarily for too long. So whilst you, you are feeling the pain of some of the decisions that have been made, it's just advice that some of the things that we raise on the floor even if we are for the minority side. And you can see how stable we are. You were laughing at us at some point. You can see how stable we are. We d it's not like we don't have our share of problems, but we know how to manage them. So please don't write letters or, or, or speak candidly to the press. Just find a way of how you handle your political party affairs uh, in a better fashion. I don't think there is a way that Senator Cheriot is suggesting that political parties can be managed on the floor of the Senate. It is just not possible. Now, in other jurisdictions, uh, uh, other jurisdictions, in fact, the minute you vote against your political party decision, you are deemed to have defected. We are even better off where you can disagree with your political party, form a political party within your political party, wear a t-shirt of another political party, and exist in that political party without defecting. It's only in Kenya where people can do that and walk around and say, well, um, I have uh, the liberty to do so. We have abused the political party's rights of being in a political party under Article 38. Because if you disagree with your political party and ideals and your party leaders, it's also democracy to leave. But you can't be in both. You're in, you're out, you're in the middle, you're you are doing pamoja, you're in a wheelbarrow. It can't work, happen. It's just not possible. And it's not legal, and it's not moral, and it's not godly. Thank you. <laughs> Senator Linturi. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, uh, I don't think uh, Senator Mutula <laughs> 